things that you've been saying to me. No reason or answers. Do I deceive myself when I make? No, 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 I was just thinking. Oh, we are on fire. I can't wait for Friday's gig. Me either. Great set, Bella. I'm making magic out there. <laughs> Thanks. Can I buy a coffee? Um. It's a rain check for later, yeah? We'll wet up. How are you? OK. So what did you think? About what, exactly? Oh, the song, what else? Interesting. Really from the heart. I um I was swimming and I found something and I oh, know I thought I thought maybe you'd like it. Whoa. I know I've never seen anything like it. Where did you get this? Can you keep a secret? I got it from the octopus's garden. It's a joke. Oh right. It's, a, it's amazing. It, it's really amazing. <laughs> oh, no I, no, I want you to have it. Uh, are you sure? Yeah, yeah, add it to your collection. Thanks. Hey, why don't you come by my place later? Why? Uh, we can talk. What about? This, your singing. Is that okay? Yeah, that should be fine. Great. Say 5 p.m. It's a date. This is amazing. This is an ancient fossil, a signpost of the past. It was alive millions of years ago. Imagine what the world was like then. So it's worth something then. Plenty to a collector, but that's not the point. Where'd you find it? There must be more. It's a present. Who from? Who could afford to? Hello. Bella, hey, come in. Oh. So, I'll see you later. You've got training soon, don't forget. Nice shell. Where'd you find it? Oh, around. Hey, check this out. I looked it up on the net, and that shell is rare. Really rare. It says here it's only found in the deepest parts of the ocean. Where exactly did you find it? I told you, the octopus is gone. Oh, really? Where? It, it was washed up on the beach. You told me you found it when you were swimming. Yeah, no, it was... It was on the shore as I was getting out of the water. Where? Make a while? So I cares? knew it! Anything strange is somehow connected to that place. I don't know what you mean, I but... you do. I think you know a lot more about that place than you say. You always seem to be going out there. Not always. You're hiding something. I thought we were going to talk about music. That's what you said. I am, in a way. Sorry? Sometimes when we talk, I get the feeling that there's something you're holding back. But when you sing, it's different. It's like it's the real you. It's someone honest. Is this why you wanted me to come here? Yeah. Great. I just want to know the real you. Then stop questioning every little thing. But how am I supposed to- No, but nothing! Why can't you just let this go and enjoy life? Have you ever tried that? always had a thing about Mako. I think it's different this time. He's completely fired up. I never meant to encourage him. I tried to put him off. I really did. Well, how many times do we have to tell you? You need to forget about him before it's too late. Give it a break, Ricky. I'm trying to help her. She's in over her head. Yeah, well, that's what love is like. And he is obviously obsessed with exactly. her. Exactly. Does anyone else hear alarm bells? Ricky. No. No, she's right. It's, it's gone too far already. It's just too dangerous. How did your training session go? It didn't. 
You didn't train? Nope. You'll have to make up for it tomorrow. We've got to get you ready for the dive comp. I'll see how I go. How come you're suddenly so distracted? I'm not. I'm just interested in other things too. Like Bella. Don't tell me you're going to let some stupid girl get in the way of your don't training. Don't talk about her like that. She, she's different from other girls. I, I don't know what it is exactly. I'm just saying you need to keep your mind set on our goals. You could make it big one day if you just stay focused. That's what's important. Well, maybe there's more to life. Heading to the beach. You want to come? I think I might pass. I won't even mention Make a Wild. I promise. Scouts on. Not that I was ever a scout, but if I was, I'd do that funny salute thing, show that I mean it. Come on, it'll be fun. I can do fun, truly. Sure, I can't tempt you into a swim? Maybe another time. What's wrong? I have to go. Wait, what happened? so hard on Bella. I mean, she is smart enough to keep our secret. Yeah, I guess. Is everything okay? Bella gave my brother a shell, an extremely rare, extremely expensive one. There's always weird shells drifting onto the shore. I'm sure it's something special. Oh, this is special, right? Will's never seen anything like it. And he knows his stuff, believe me. Oh, well, do you want us to have a look at it? Maybe it's the kind of thing we've seen before. Uh, thanks, but I don't have it with me. Will's already given it pride of place on his desk. I'm going to get someone to take a look at it. Oh, I wouldn't get all that trouble. That's silly. Well, Will thinks it's worth a fortune, so it'd be good to know exactly how much. I'll stall her. What are you doing? Stopping us from getting any worse than it already is. And I thought, you and I, we've never really had a decent chat. About what? Um, 
you got you got really nice hair, and I was wondering where you got it done. Maybe another time. Um. Ah, oh, I forgot to tell you that Ricky said to tell you that if you wanted some extra cash, you're welcome to do an hour's overtime. I would. But things to do, you know. you say sorry? Hi, babe. I'm always apologising for being sorry. There I go again. Hey, why don't you take a seat and I'll, I'll help you dry off. I have to go. Besides, it's only water and I'll change when I get home. See ya. Bella, water, Mako, full moon. Soon he'll be able to write a thesis on mermaids. Thing. There's a sketch of you, there's notes on Mako Island, the full moon, the whole thing. He's on to you. We can't afford to mess around with this. We stay away from him. When I say we, I mean you. You and Cleo have boyfriends and both of them know about you being mermaids. Why can't I? Because he's practically a stranger. No, he's not. Not to me. I, I get him. We have a connection. But he's not like any other guy I've ever met. Because he's probably the only guy ever that hasn't thrown himself at you. That is all. Don't mistake your feelings for anything else. No, it's more than that. Cleo and I have been covering for your mistakes all day. Uh, excuse me, I've been careful. I destroyed the shell. Oh, that was a present. Sophie was on to where it came from. Not even scuba divers can get deep enough to find those shells. How are you going to explain that? No. Look, this is beyond a joke. I'm not covering for you anymore. It's either him or it's us. Where did you disappear to before? One minute you were there and, and the next? We need to talk. OK. Talk. It was really great hanging out with you today, but... Where did you have to go that you could swim to faster than you could walk? Listen, I can't see you anymore. Why? I don't want to talk about it. I can't make you talk to me. But I wish you would. There are, there are so many things about you that just don't add up. I think you're reading way too much into The only that. time I've ever seen you go into the water, you disappeared. I know you're hiding something from me. But whatever it is, I'm not going to judge you. You can't run and hide forever. I know this big secret of yours has something to do with water. No. You're lying to me. No. I trusted you. I did try to stall her. It's OK, I fixed it. Yeah, but even with the shell gone, Will is still a major problem. I had a bit of a chat to Bella about that, and I don't think she'll be seeing him again. We can't stop her from like... It had to happen, Cleo. And she finally gets it. The important thing is, he will never know about us. I was nine years old. And we were living in Ireland at the time. My parents 
were busy, so I went exploring. And there was this place. down by the ocean, at the bottom of the cliffs. I felt, I felt drawn there, like, like I was looking for something, only I didn't know what. There was a cave. I felt so peaceful there, like, like I belonged. Sorry, I wish I could have told you, but... What about the others? Cleo and, and Ricky? Are, are they... No. No. Are you sure? Yeah, it's just me. I'm the only one. But they... They know about you. No, you're the only one that knows. We can keep this between us, right? I don't know. I need some time to think things through. I know you warned me and I tried, I really did. This is a disaster. He's gonna tell everyone. We'll end up on display at the Marine Park with Ronnie. No, you won't. He only thinks that I'm a mermaid. I think he'll figure it out. No, he asked me. I lied. I said I'm the only one. Thanks for protecting us. Please forgive me. I guess what's done is done. I'll fix it. I'll deal with it and you guys won't have to do anything. No. We're in this together fix this together. Nothing. I must have called him ten times already. Is it so hard to pick up your phone? You've tried. That's all you can do. I don't think I can sing like this. You know how I forgave you for blowing our secret despite me warning you in advance? Yes. If you skip out on a pay gig, I will be nowhere near as forgiving. Ricky's right, Bella. I mean, we need to act as normal as possible. But what if No! I Don't even think about it. Now go sing. Oh.
this and this what? is really I didn't, I didn't tell her. We're just talking about this. It's like your special shell spontaneously combusting. Does this mean that you've decided to keep my secret? <sighs> Thank you. Thanks. I can get you another shell. Thanks for the offer, but... I like the fact that it is a one of a kind. I'll catch you later. At least our secret's safe. For now. No, he won't change his mind. Never say never. No, no, he, he really won't. He, he's a good guy. He's a really good guy. Hey, Ricky. That sketch that you saw of me, what was it like? Oh, here we go. Was it cute? Would you tell me? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. What was I oh, wearing? Like, come on, amazing. Would you tell me? Championships, but I doubt it. So, you gonna take a nap with the rest of the losers or are you gonna try and win this thing? Good. Okay, ten more seconds and then give me another length. I thought we'd go for a bunch of different packages. Uh -huh. It'd be a yeah. whole new customer base. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Stop your yearing me, what do you think? Better in corporate functions. It's up market. It's where the dollars are. It's where we should be. Advertising you know, you're getting good at this business thing. I'm going to put the word out through my dad's contacts. Too easy. I know a coach is supposed to be tough, but the way that she was talking to Will was just mean. So what did you do? Well, I wanted to see how long she could hold her breath underwater. But I didn't. I just walked away. I don't know how he puts up with her. You did the right thing, then. Not necessarily. Hang on, you were the one telling Bella to stay away from Will in the first well, place. That was before he found out she was a mermaid. Now the best way to keep that secret is to make sure you're right there beside him. So I say follow your instincts. What instincts? The ones that are telling you to get close to him. But they're not. They're just telling me that Sophie shouldn't work him as hard. Are you sure? He doesn't see us as a thing, and neither do I. Then get close to him to save him from the devil coach. Whatever. We need to keep an eye on him. You got me a corporate sponsor. Almost. You just need to impress him when he comes to see you train. But how would the head of an international dive suit company even hear about me? I went to his office and told him. And he's interested. I told him where we're headed, that you're going to be world champion. And this is his chance to get in on the ground floor. Whoa. <laughs> so now I'm going to get him to tomorrow's session, even if I have to drag him there. Tomorrow? I'm not ready. Yes, you are. What if I'm a letdown? You won't be. Just do what you do and he'll be blown away. Are you sure? I promise you. Thanks, so. You need to be totally focused. Push it to the absolute limit. Understood? Understood. And I'll be there the whole time. What about your work? Don't worry about that. Leave Zane and everything else to me. Just remember, focused. You read my mind. Actually, I need to leave early. Mm hmm? Who's the lucky guy? An international diving gear manufacturer. Romantic. It's a business meeting. I'm trying to convince him to sponsor Will. Sponsor? He's a talented freediver. Could be a champion one day. Well, I never stand in the way of a business deal. That is so cool. Zane Bennett. Because I need tomorrow off too. What? Yeah, we cater for corporate functions. It's our specialty. Tomorrow? I have to take the sponsor to see Will train. Uh, lunch tomorrow? No problem at all. Uh, hey. Um. Uh, yeah, OK. My manager's not here at the moment, but if you give me your details, I'll pass it on. <laughs> Hey, is Will a 
about? He's got training. He's always got training. And that's how you get to be good. But he should have other things going on in his life. I mean, he can't be happy training all the time. Other things meaning you, I suppose. No, actually, I just meant that he should have lots of things going on in his life. I know what you meant, and he's got lots going on. He's going to be a champion, and it's my job to see he's got no distractions. But it's his life. You can't make all of the decisions for him. Well, I've made this one. Talent agencies booked the whole place out. I'm sure I wish we'd be able to do that. I'm sure you will. I will. Yeah, I've got a prior commitment. It's a business thing. Oh, really? And that's why your motorbike's out front? OK, so there's a bike rally involved, but I'll be using the event to promote our new venture to some corporate honchos. Oh, and you get a lot of those at dirt bike rallies, G. A few. Right, so I'm left to do everything, and I see you've given Sophie the day off. Yes, but I'm sure you'll find someone to help you out, so it's all good. Taking a break. Well, you want to be a champion break taker, you take breaks. I hear you want to be a champion freediver, so dive. And as your guest coach, we do it my way or the highway. Guest coach? Well, I know a little bit about spending time underwater, don't you think? <sighs> Thank you so much for helping to. No problem. Vacation canapes are heating, the seafood salads are chilling, and so should you. I know, I know. It's just that the whole thing's my baby, and I need to be perfect. Sorry, we're close for a private function. Yes, we're in. Cheryl's junior modelling and talent agency. I'm Cheryl Junior. Oh, Darling, Anna. Look. How long was that? I don't know. You didn't time it. Tommy makes it so competitive. It's a freediving competition, just so you can dive the deepest. Yeah, but you're competing against other people. The way that you're training, you're competing against the water. Because if I don't, it'll beat me. It's not trying to beat you. But the, the, the water doesn't have to be your enemy. It can be your friend. It'll work with you if you let it. Is that mermaid philosophy? That it is. And his phone's turned off. Yeah, the kids won't eat any of the food. We don't eat anything we've never heard of. Maybe it's time they heard of eating what they're given. <sighs> Hi, how's it been going? Uh, actually, they're a little peckish and they're wondering where the entertainment is. Entertainment? Your advertisement does claim that you cater for all forms of corporate events. Yeah? So, where's the clown? Zane assured me there'd be one. Can you see what I mean? Kind of. But wouldn't it be better if you showed me? Hello, public place. There won't be anyone here for ages. Oh, I don't know. I don't Come know. Come on. Show me how the expert does it. So incredible. Yeah, I am. So you want to see how the experts do it? Will? Are you there? Uh, I'm coming. Don't worry, keep training. I'll bring him in. You all right? My sister's here. What? You can't let her see me. It's 
fantastic that you're open to sponsoring my brother. We'll see. Will, this is Rob Kent, the sponsor I was telling you uh, about. Potential sponsor, how you doing? So, Will, show him your potential. Not right now, I'm, I'm pretty exhausted. Rob's a very busy man. Sorry, uh, but I need a break. You've been pushing me pretty hard. And it's that kind of training that's going to make him a world champion. But we're not going to see any of it today. Yes, we are. We'll get in the pool. Pushing it to the absolute limit, remember? I already have. A bit temperamental. Elite athletes can be like that. He'll be fine by right tomorrow. But I won't be here. Like you said, I'm busy. Rob, please. Rob, wait. He's just a bit... Incredible the way you change. <laughs> How'd you cool? So I guess you better get back to Sophie and sort things out. Or you know, we could go somewhere else really private to do some more swimming.
your speed underwater. The depths you can dive to. How long can you hold your breath for? I uh, never tested it. It's so amazing to think that you can just swim like that anytime you like. Yeah, it's pretty special. But it must be so hard to have something that incredible and not have anyone you can even talk to about it. Yeah, it's tough, all right. Well, I'm really glad you shared it with me. It's the best thing I've ever done. So, we'll do it again? Yeah, definitely. Where have you been? Just out. Getting a job, I hope, because you're going to need about four of them to make up the money you just lost us. I'm sorry. There's a coincidence, so am I. I'm sorry I went to all that trouble only to be humiliated. You weren't humiliated. I promised him he was going to see a future champ. Instead, he saw a wimp who couldn't be bothered trying. So where were you? With Bella? You're too tired to train, but you can hang out with her. We were training. What would she know about diving? You'd be surprised. No, you're the one that's going to be surprised. There's something about her she doesn't want people to see. Like what? She's cunning. I told her you were busy, but she waited till I was gone. Well, I'm glad she did. Training with her was fun. Of course it was. It doesn't matter to her. Let's have fun all the time. Let's forget about everything I've given up for you so that so you can have this shot. That's, that's not what I meant. I hope not. You've got a talent I could only dream about. I'm not going to let you throw it all away. Hey, sorry I couldn't get back earlier, but I really kicked some goals for us at the bike rally. We are going to have bookings coming out our ears. Really? Anyone over the age of six? Hey, it's your training buddy. Just wondering if time for a swim tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning might be a bit of a problem. Yeah, and the afternoon too. Later on the week then, I guess. Oh. Oh, no, no, I, yeah, I understand. No, the, the championships, you have to train for them. But there's, there's no reason why your guest trainer can't show up occasionally. Actually, that's probably not such a great idea. Um, I really need to focus, you know, get in the zone. Oh, yeah, right, the zone. And I guess it's Sophie's call. Who gets to be in the zone with you? It has nothing to do with Sophie. Look, I'll uh, I'll get back to you later. Bye. Who was that? No one. Give me another ten lengths. Hey. You're tired. Early morning training. I guess that's life in the zone. So, are you doing anything? What happened to being focused? Doesn't mean we can't go for a swim for half an hour or so. That long? I'm sorry about that call yesterday, but you've got to know, I, I can't get you out of my head. The way you fly through the water like it's part of you, it it's beautiful. Well, maybe, maybe we could go get a coffee first and then we could talk. <laughs> I want to see you swim. That's better than any talking. <laughs> yeah, but we could, we could get to know each other a bit better. I know you're a mermaid. <laughs> How much more do I need to know? Yeah, but that's not all I am. Of course not, but you've got to admit, it is the most amazing part. I guess so. What's the problem? Um, you know, I think, I think you're right. I think you should, you should focus on your training. I'm taking a break. No, not, not with me. No, you should, um, you should find Sophie. She'll be wondering where you are.
Sounds like you guys did well yesterday. I'll have to go away more often. Oh, I want full details of the bookings next time. Oh, the important thing is the event was a success. Actually, I've got another booking for today, and they specifically asked for Rico the Clown. Oh, really? Well, uh, unfortunately, it's, it's Rico's day off. We do, however, have a stand-in. So, knock him dead, Zaino. <laughs> to follow your instincts. If they're telling you you don't want to be around him, then... But that's not what they're telling you, are they? You guys were right. I... I really like him. Then why tell him to back off? Because he doesn't like me. I mean, he likes me, but not me, me. He... He likes the mermaid, the one that he can swim with. Then you did the right thing. But he knows my secret. I, I mean, I'm sure he won't tell anyone, but how will we know? I guess we won't. We've made such a mess. Welcome to the club. We've all told someone our secret and we've all worried about whether it was the right thing to do. Comes with being a mermaid. The important thing to remember, though, is that no matter how rotten we may feel, a mermaid always has a way of making herself feel better. Swimming. Well, that's enough shopping. I think we've just about earned ourselves a juice. On second thoughts, maybe we should try somewhere else. <laughs> Prepare to be amazed. Not bad. Maybe we should get our earrings. Just wait. hates everything. <laughs> Perfect. All right, now my turn to cure it. Beautiful. Now I'll harden it. Even Ricky's gonna like this. You all right if I go out for a while? What for? Just need to see an old friend. You're not planning any surprises, are you? Surprises? No. Why? Come on, Zane, you know what today is. It's like the 12th. Oh, how could I have forgotten? Some of these bills should have been paid by the 10th. Sorry, I know how angry that fruit supply gets, but don't worry, I'll smooth things out. Anything else? No, no, that's it. Lucky I've got you to remind me of these things, otherwise this place would go under. I'd be helping you out right now, but I've got to be somewhere else. Oh? Ricky will be back on deck when she finishes the accounts, but keep up the good work. Sure. Some service here? When I get there.
All right, what do you want? Spaghetti bolognese times ten plus a dozen sandwiches. Stocking up. What kind of sandwiches? Uh, whatever's quickest. What's the rush? Watch with all the questions. Like I care. Um, big orders take time. So, how soon can you deliver it? We don't do deliveries. Okay. 20 bucks for the delivery boy. Maybe I can find someone. Here's the address. Hey, I see that you've brought an offering. How's Operation Decoration going? Uh, all set to commence mission presently. Where's the target? She's in the office. Good luck. Let's go. Come in. Hello. This isn't a birthday present, is it? Definitely not. Think of it as a really late Christmas present. <laughs> nice. You might want to keep it in a safe place. So, do you want to meet us at the moon pool later, about two? Why? Um, for a swim? Wouldn't have anything to do with the fact that it's my birthday, would it? No way. No, actually, it's it's something else. The three of us need to talk. It's important and kind of private. Okay, well, I'll see you there then. And thanks. Um... Is there something going on that I should know about? I don't think so. I mean, you can trust me if there is. I'm cool. I'm Ricky's friend, too. Okay, sure. Well, if we hear anything, we'll be sure to let you know. And if I hear anything, I'll let you know. Okay. Do you think Ricky saw straight through us? Definitely. Hey, but a uh, good idea on the whole private talk thing. She so thinks you meant well. Hey. I was hoping to run into you. Congratulations. I've been thinking a lot about you. Just you. Well, it's good to keep an active mind. You need to talk. I don't think so. You're wasting your time with her. She's so not worth thinking about. You said I was. Yeah, right. I've got a job for you. That is a lot of food. You're a strong boy, you can handle it. This walk is miles away. Good exercise. Think of it as part of your training. Yeah, right. Delivery boy. I need you to help me out just this once. Come on, you'll be fine. Pass it over. Just visiting? Uh, yeah, something like that. Uh, how much? Seventy-eight dollars. Uh, wait here. Shouldn't we give some to the cafe? No, you earn the tip. Sophie, I'm going to need all the money. Huh? Today's takings, I need it to finish accounts. I've been doing some serious business today. Great. So can I have the till? Sure thing. Oh, sorry. That's OK, I'll handle the till. Do you want that back in the office? Yes, please.
Sophie. I don't suppose you know who paid me 50s today. Um, some guy wanted a delivery. Why? What's the problem? I think they're fake. What? Counterfeits? Yeah. Don't worry, I'll, I'll sort it out. Hi, did you get a delivery today and pay for it with these? Why? They're fake. Really? Yeah, really. I thought you might want to take them down to the police station. You bet, sure. Right after you reimburse me. Yeah, of course. Come aboard. I'll go get my wallet. Is there a problem? Looks like it's been stung with a couple of fake 50s, so I'm just fixing up the bill. Really? Give us a look. Do you remember where you got them from? Yeah, that's a good question. You remember, Chris? Look, I might leave it to you two. Don't you want to get reimbursed? I'm in a bit of a hurry, so if you can drop it at the cafe, that'd be great. I think you better stay here with I us. I really should. Just going. let it go. It's all right. I don't even know your names. So it was all the same. Did I tell you it's my birthday today? Happy birthday. Maybe she got a better offer. Nah, no chance. She's probably just sulking because she's guessed what's going on. Mm, maybe we should just start without her. No, there is no way she's missing out on this one. Even if we have to drag her here. Please let me go. I don't know what is going on here. I haven't seen anything that... Oh, great. Because it's too much to ask that there be anything less than disastrous. But one day of the year... Save your breath, love. Yeah, we got a problem. Are you sure we should be in here? I want to show you something. Tell me that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen. Bella and Cleo gave it a birthday present. Really? Feel it, it's weird. It's, it's just some kind of glass. That is so not glass. It must be worth a bundle. What is it? Oh, I've, I've seen stuff like that before. They, they imported by the truckload from China. So you're an art critic now? This is rare. And what's with the mermaid thing? I don't know. Nothing. You're seriously slow today. Hey, Bella. Wait, it's it's important. This won't take a minute. We need to talk. Okay, well I'm here. Talk away. I thought you'd be more careful. I'm not sure you're quite tuned into the station. I just saw that mermaid statue. The gift you gave Ricky. What were you doing poking around Ricky's stuff? Sophie found it. What'd you tell her? Nothing, but she's not going to give up till she finds out more about it. You need to keep your sister on a leash. I don't control her, and she's not stupid. Really? I know you made the statue somehow. And if you and Cleo gave it to Ricky, that, that means they must know about you too. If you say so. Look, Bella, I like you, but, but you can't keep lying to me. I've kept your secret. Why won't you trust me with the whole story? Boss is not a happy man. Think she's all right in there? This has got out of hand. And whose fault's that, Chris? Well, it's not mine. Well, you invited her on board. We've got a million in cash just lying around here, and you want to throw her a birthday party. I only signed on as the delivery boy. If 
Every single one of these is the same. You're a moron. It just says help. What does that mean? I don't know. She needs us? <laughs> it couldn't be a joke, could it? Maybe she found out about the party and she's trying to pay us back. Call her. Well, what do you suggest, Chris? I say we drop her off further up the coast. By the time she walks back, we'll be long gone. Why wouldn't she tell? <sighs> Again? I did. It just it keeps going to voicemail. Why would she send that text and then not answer? Sophie, have you seen Ricky around? She went out. Any idea where? Why? What's happening? She was supposed to meet us. There's something going on. She's not in the office. It's a party, isn't it? What did Ricky say before she left? Not much. She was steamed off about some dodgy $50 notes she got passed. What? Some guy made a delivery order and paid for it with a fake. Any idea where he was from? Don't know. Some wharf will make the delivery. So you'll let me know about the party? Oh, I can't reach Zane or Lewis to make our interference. We need Will. No, let's not go there. Well, what if he knows where Ricky is? It's too risky. He doesn't know about you guys. What's more important, protecting our secret or Ricky? Ricky is. She's not here. Well, this is serious. Sophie said you picked up some counterfeit money from the wharf. Fake money? We think she went to take it back. You have to tell us everything you know. On one condition. You tell me everything you know about mermaids. All three of you? Yes. We all transformed together? No. So how long have you known about each other? Since we met, but I couldn't tell you because it's important we keep it a secret, Will. I just can't believe that Ricky's one too. Well, she is. And this all ties into Mako Island. I knew it. You could have told me, you know. I'm sorry, but we had to protect each other. I get that. Okay, enough talk. Oh, yeah, she needs us. Come on. <laughs> What do you want? Hi, I wanted to thank you for the generous tip before. Whatever, don't worry about it. Nice boat. You uh, mind if I take a look around? Yeah, get off. Hey, I said get off. Get out of there. So how many does the boat sleep? Would you let him in for? I did it. Off now. Hey, I'm just being friendly. Cops. What's the setup? You get him out of here now. Uh, Ricky, I'm going to start.
Wait. It's locked. Together on three. One, two, three. Ow! What kept you? Party here? Thing is, it's a surprise. Oh, no problem. Anything I can do to help? Sure is. Would you mind holding the fort for the afternoon? Sure. Thanks, so. If you're a legend. This looks so good, you guys. We thought you might like it. Hey, uh, I thought you'd probably want this. You stole it out of my office. Rescued it, um, it caught Sophie's eye. Cool, I guess I have to trust you now. I can keep a secret. I certainly hope so, for your sake. Man, you guys are hard to find. What's he doing here? He saved Ricky's life when you couldn't be contacted. What? You've, you've been in trouble? Long story, but we can trust him. And he knows everything. Everything? Everything. Happy... whatever. I know you've already got one of these, but... A phone is exactly what I need. Ricky! Come and blow out your candles. Doing? We didn't even sing the, the song. Yeah, no, that's way too much fire for one day. Fire? Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! Hip hip! Hooray! 